A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to show you how to make a fancy yet professional table in Adobe Dreamview or CS5. Let's start. I'm going to click I'm going to click uh, on the create new HTML button, okay? Now what I'm going to do is first things first, let me collapse this code. Okay? And guys, I'm going to insert the table in this body area. So, uh, let me say insert and then table I'm happy to give four rows four columns table width at 600 pixels you may use percentage as well guys okay I'll keep the border thickness one and cell padding cell spacing as zero keeping it zero and keeping it empty are two different things guys and uh, I'll choose the header as top for the caption I'll say under standing borders okay I'll skip the summary, will not impact the design area. I'll say OK. This is the table uh, in front of you guys. Let me fill something. And when I say something, I mean anything. Just to make the table look like a table. Almost done. OK, guys. Let me save and show you a preview in Google Chrome. I'm going to call it Tables and borders okay guys uh, this basic table you can see that the TDs or the table data are actually clinging to the walls or the inner borders okay undesirable absolutely undesirable okay moreover it doesn't have any uh, background color so we'll, we'll try to fill uh, these areas up let me go back to Dreamweaver and start by making certain uh, CSS rules okay let me ensure that my cursor is in the TD now what is a TD and what is a TR guys one single cell this single cell okay this single cell is a TD that means table data and these four cells together form the TR that's the table row okay so the table rows contain the individual TDs or the table cells okay so making sure that my cursor is inside the, the TD okay I'm gonna click on this plus button the new CSS rule button and uh, make sure that the contextual selector is set to tag and uh, the selector name automatically will pop up as TD table data okay I'll also ensure that uh, the rule that I'm creating will go inside a new style sheet and then I'm gonna say okay external new style sheet guys okay and um, I'll call this style sheet uh, rules for tables okay and then I'm gonna say save and uh, next guys what I'm gonna do is for the TDs uh, I'll choose a background color of a hash FFC go to the box category and uh, choose a left padding of 10 pixels, a top padding of uh, 5 pixels and then I'm going to say OK and let's take a preview. Guys, the table isn't as cramped as it was earlier. Moreover, you see the values are not touching the walls anymore. Pretty good. Let me go back to Dreamweaver. Okay, just the way I have formatted the table data, so the TDs, I'm going to format the th as well the th is the table header okay so I'm going to make sure that my cursor is blinking in the th area we'll click on the new CSS rule button okay I'll make sure that the rules will go inside rules for tables CSS which is automatically selected and then I will uh, drop down the contextual selector to tag. Tag will de redefine the way uh, the th will appear or behave. Okay, so I'm going to say okay. And uh, next, what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to choose um, a background color. Rather, let me work with the background image. I'm going to browse for the image, and the image that I've decided is stable bg repeat x. Now, this guys is a PNG image the top is reddish the bottom is kind of whitish okay so it's a gradient it's a linear gradient vertical linear gradient which I'll repeat along the x-axis you'll soon see what I mean I'm gonna say okay and uh, then I'll repeat it along the x-axis since it's like a hair strand alright so mm, so 
so also I would want to change the color of the font for the table headers I'll keep it at uh, a hash 900 and moreover I would want to give it a bottom border okay so a bottom solid border which is thin and uh, let me not disturb any color so I'm gonna say okay you'll not be able to see the border uh, quite clearly now but you should be able to see the border a little later on okay let me show you a preview so guys what has happened here is the th is the area which uh, forms the top row okay has a nice gradient now and the font color is a hash 900 wonderful okay so it's kind of taking shape guys next guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna affect the outside borders and the inner borders and there are two attributes which control uh, this property let's see how we can do that guys I'll locate the table tag which is just under the body tag here okay and right after the border okay I'm gonna hand code two attributes I'll inject two attributes here so I'm gonna say frame uh, one second I'm gonna say frame and uh, I'm gonna make it void the value I'll give it is void which means please remove the outer shell or the outer border completely okay and uh, the next attribute that I'll pass in is called rules okay so void and then we have rules and uh, as far as the rules are concerned or the rulers the lines are concerned I want the rules to be applicable only to the calls by calls I mean columns okay so I'm gonna choo choose calls and uh, let's see how it has actually affected the table oh wonderful so guys as you can see only the columns have um, the dividers or the rulers okay and now you can clearly see the bottom border that I'd apply to the th area the table header area okay so wonderful guys uh, now what I'll do is guys as you can see the caption is uh, centered now that is the default what if I wish to bring it to the left edge or the left corner let's see how I can actually do that moreover I would also want to shift the table a bit to the right let's accomplish that as well okay let me go back to Dreamweaver and uh, inside the table tag let me pass in a little bit of inline styling so style uh, margin left let's say 100 px okay and uh, that should displace the table towards the right similarly going back to Dreamweaver and uh, in the opening caption tag let me pass in a little more inline style and this time I'm gonna say Mm, text align left okay and this should take the text to the left but I would want a uh, 10 pixels of margin as well so a semicolon and margin left 10 px let me show you a preview okay so guys uh, the caption has been shifted to the left but it also has a 10 px of left margin the table has a hundred px of left margin and as you can see that using frames I have voided or removed the outer border okay and using the calls uh, value for the rules uh, attribute I've made sure that only the columns have the uh, the rulers or the inner borders so guys frames and frames which is frame rather the frame attribute and the rules attribute 
are pretty pretty useful they're very very important they are not used very much and I really don't know why they're not talked about a lot and I really don't know why okay guys so if you found this uh, tutorial useful please comment please um, rate it and um, if you wish to su subscribe go ahead please do it so I'll see you uh, next time with yet another Dreamweaver tutorial peace bye bye